Everyone, this is Mr. West. Today we're going to be talking about a viral math problem that released a few days ago on Twitter. Here it is, 2 plus 2 times 4. As you can see, this probably went viral because none of the answers listed are correct. They're all wrong answers, but according to this person, he had a lot of people choose incorrect answers. The closest one is 16, but even that's wrong, and let's talk about it. We have 2 plus 2 times 4. Now, how I say it is not what we do with the problem. First thing you do, order of operations, 2 times 4. We're going to do this component first. That is 8. And then we have 2 plus 8, and that gives us 10. So 10 should be the correct answer. I have no clue how 15, 14, and 13 are even close to that or how they even get that. But a lot of people chose that. Now, this is all about order of operations, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. That's the order in which you have to do mathematics. But why? Why do you need to use order of operations? I'm guessing a lot of people, they're like, oh, you have to use PEMDAS. But why? Why do we have PEMDAS, order of operations, to do mathematics? It all goes to what is multiplication, what is what are exponents, and what is addition and subtraction. We have this problem, 2 plus 2 times 4. We just talked about it. But we have to break down what is multiplication. Multiplication is simply repeated addition. So if we have 2 times 4, what we're talking about is we're talking about four groups of 2. So really what this is, is 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. Four groups of 2. Now, that is 2 times 4. It's the same thing. I just rewrote it in its most basic component. So now we can do the actual problem. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 10. And that's how we can get the answer that way. Therefore, we have to do multiplication first. Otherwise, you're doing this 2 plus 2 first, okay, you're 4, and then you only have these left over. You're, you're messing up the whole process if you do 2 plus 2 first to get 4 and then, and then multiplying that by 4 because now you're saying 4 groups of 4 instead of 4 groups of 2. You're changing the problem completely. You're going outside. Let's just do one more so you understand what uh, how order of operations works even with exponents. So we have 3 squared here. That means repeated multiplication. So we have to do that first. That's the higher order. So 3 times 3 first. Now we have this times 2 in front. Okay, let me get this down. Times 2 and then plus 4. Well, again, we can break this down into its smaller components. When we have 3 times 3, that's really 3 groups of 3. So 3 plus 3 plus 3. Okay, and I'm going to put this times 2 just to make it a little bit more simple. Okay, but this is all together. So we need to solve that first, and that's 9, and then we have to multiply that by 2. So now we have two groups of 9, 9 plus 9, and then we finally have this plus 4 at the end. So you have to you have to follow that order. You can see I put parentheses here just to show that you have to do that first, and that's a mathematical symbol to uh, help you decide what order to do first. So now we have 9 plus 9 is 18, plus 4 is 22. There's, if you don't follow that, you're going to get completely different answers, but there's an order and that's why we use PEMDAS. And that's the key to this problem. So hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to watch more on West Explains Best. I'll be right here. Looking forward to it. See you later.